und weiter geht's. So. Und zwar... Ähm... Nö, 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 So, gucken wir mal. Analyse. Keine Treffer. Okay. Das wollte ich kurz gucken. Dann... Schauplätze. Okay, gehen wir nochmal zu dem Typen hier. Looks like Mr. Baha isn't here. But we could always knock. No answer. Okay, ja. No answer. Kann man nicht einfach einbrechen? So. Dann... Was ist eigentlich hier? Ach so, hi. Äh, Brian Reed. Huh. Ja, sprech mal halt noch mit dir. So, hallo. Mr. Reed. Or should I call you Captain Reed? Not anymore. I'm no longer with the Las Vegas Fire Department. So. Um, sie haben nicht erzählt, dass sie Feuerwehrmann sind. I bet you've seen a lot of buildings burn. And I bet you know a lot of ways to light them up. You know something, buddy? You are way to hell out of line. I devoted my life to jumping into the flames and saving people. And I lost friends in those buildings I've seen burn. So for you to sit there and insinuate that I may be an arsonist is the most offensive thing anyone has ever said to me. And Porsche? You think I said Porsche on fire? I mean, I don't know what kind of animals you people have to deal with, but that's not me. So, aber sie wurden gefeuert. Being a firefighter was obviously very important to you. So it must have hurt to lose that. Yeah, well, they were just looking for an excuse. I was actually trying to keep my head down. You were on probation. There was a tenement fire in the alphabets. Italian chief thought the place was coming down. Ordered me not to go back in. You'd think I might earn a little slack for telling the boss to piss off, but let me save a room full of kids. And again, if I'd stopped at piss off, maybe I would have. Uh, sie haben einen Drogentest nicht bestanden. Wasn't Porsche the one with the drug problem? Yeah, it was her problem, and she's the reason I got fired. Porsche made pot brownies. Now, she says she didn't dose me intentionally, but she did leave the damn things right where I would find them, and she didn't tell me what they were. I ate three of them. I could barely get out of bed for like a day and a half. I don't know how she... I don't know how anyone can stand that stuff. And then, as if that wasn't bad enough, Happy Monday! Go pee in a cup! Hmm... Sie, sie servierten sie ab, weil sie ihnen eine Dosis verpasst hat. I dumped her because she got me fired from a job I loved. Erzählen Sie mir etwas über das Werkzeug. It's a firefighting tool, isn't it? It's called a Denver tool. Firefighters use it for getting into and out of places. Places like apartments? Only if they're on fire. So. Sie haben ihren Schlüssel nicht benutzt. We think you used your Denver tool to break Porsche's door in. I told you, I got a key. Look, take it if you need it. So, sie lügen. So. You see those marks? They line up perfectly with your Denver tool. Mine or anybody else's. Even if it was a Denver tool, no firefighter did that. If I really wanted to bring that door down, I'd pry the hinges off. The last thing I'd do is hack at it like a maniac. So if the fire was set by someone with the knowledge to burn that building to the ground. I don't care what you say. I would never start a fire. 
Genau, das hier. Die Drywall at the Spa was ventilated with a Denver Tool. Well, it wasn't my Denver Tool. Anybody can buy one on the Internet. Even my... Even Porsche had one. Why did Porsche have a Denver Tool? She took mine. She wanted it for protection. Said it creeped her out to be alone in that place all day. By that place? Do you mean the spa? Yeah, she had hers at the spa. You know something? You're right. There are a lot of other Denver tools floating around out there. But in this case, I really only think there's one I need to worry about. And it belongs to you. You followed Portia to the spa. And when she was nice and relaxed in her mud bath, you torched the place. And then you went back to her apartment to get your things, and a few of her things too. And then you tried to disappear. I bet you figured, hey, if it looks like a break-in, then no one will suspect a boyfriend who's already got a key to the place. And that might have worked for you, too. But you forgot to light a fire under yourself. You were still standing right there when we rolled up. Captain, I respect the police. I really do. I know what it's like to go out there every day and put it all on the line. And I know you're just doing your job. But if you can look me straight in the eye and really hear what I'm saying to you, and yet still believe that I could do this to Pasha, then I feel very, very sorry for you, because you're not qualified to carry that badge. Now, are you really going to arrest me, or what? No, we're not going to arrest you, Brian. But we'd appreciate if you could hold tight here for a while. All right, I will. For now. And like I said, I'm happy to answer your questions, but no more finger pointing, or I'm done. We understand. Thank you. So, um. Lief die Geschäfte you schlecht? You said that Portia spent hours alone at the spa. How often did she do that? Just about every day. You know, there were times I started to believe that place might be some sort of front. A front? Yeah, you know, for money laundering. Pasha was convinced, and she was keeping her own records. She told me that place wasn't making a dime. So, wo sind die Akten? Did anyone else know Portia was keeping financial records? I think she might have mentioned it to a boss, which seemed like the wrong guy to talk to about it, but she trusted him. At least she did. But after she talked to him, she got all paranoid, and ended up hiding all the papers in the broiler drawer. I thought she was just high. Hey, you guys looking at him for this? Wir sind fertig, erstmal. Thanks for sticking around. No problem. I'll be waiting. So. Um. So. Dann könnten wir es theoretisch noch mal bei unserem Freund probieren, oder? Nö. Können wir nicht. Doch, können wir. So. Hi. Uh, sorry, I was shaving. Cut myself. What can I do for you? Uh, wir suchen nach einem Werkzeug. Porsche Weissman owned a firefighting tool. She kept it at the spa for security. Have you seen it? No. She had some kind of weapon at the spa? Well, that's totally against company policy. Wir gehen. We'll be back. Uh, looking forward to it. So, danke übrigens, dass du die DNA da fallen gelassen hast. Kann ich gut gebrauchen. Good catch. That should contain a workable sample of his DNA. Yep. So. Und das werden wir doch direkt auch mal prüfen. So. DNA. Und zwar testen wir das. Wo ist denn... Ah. Ich muss erstmal die DNA davon runterholen. So. Pete Baha's DNA ready for processing. Genau, und genau dies tun wir jetzt auch. 
und vergleichen es mit dem schwarzen Haar. So. Ähm. Nein. Das könnte aber da passen. So. Ähm. Ja. So, rot, genau. Ah, da passt. So. So. So und so. Abgleich. Die Baha was in Porsche Weissmann's Apartment. Even though he told us he'd never been there. Hmm. How's the arson case? Is your decorated fireman still the prime suspect? I'm not so sure now. He's got an answer for everything. And what I thought was the best evidence we had against him, his firefighting tool, well, it doesn't actually provide us with anything conclusive. On top of that, the spa's owner, Pete Baja, lied to us about never visiting the victim's apartment. All right. Well, talk to Brass. See if he can help you take a closer look at this, Mr. Baja. Okay. All right. You're down here already. I was just gonna call you. This is Special Agent Gene Huntby of the FBI. It seems your case may be crossing into his jurisdiction. Agent Huntby, why don't I let you explain the situation to them? Thank you, Captain Brass. It's my understanding your prime suspect in the arson fire at the Super La Spa is Pedro Baja. Is my information correct? We're looking at him for the arson and a homicide. A young woman by the name of Portia Weissman died in the fire. Is that right? Well, let me explain why I'm here. Are you familiar with Lorena de la Colmena? Unfortunately, as a member of law enforcement, you should be. In Spanish, it means the queen of the hive, and it's the alias for a woman named Beatriz Salazar, now the most dangerous drug lord in Mexico. We believe Pedro Baja was in her employ. Okay. So is this the part where you tell us to back off Mr. Baja and let you do your job? No, Ms. Seidel, not at all. I want you to get your man. I want you to get him so bad he'll have no choice but to cut a deal. You see, in the entire universe of La Reina de la Colmena's drug trafficking operation, Baja's just a satellite, a small-time money launderer through those little shops of his. But for some reason, we have him on wiretaps in direct communication with Salazar. The taps themselves are useless because Baja and Salazar communicate in code, referring to things like family, weather, whatever. But why she's talking to him directly instead of through an intermediary, I have no idea. But it's that direct connection that means, if we can bring down Baja, then we have our best shot yet at taking down the Queen of the Hive herself. Agent Huntby has requested the opportunity to keep tabs on us for a while, and run this one as a joint jurisdiction. You do your thing, I'll do mine. Alles klar. Gut, Mr. FBI-Agent. So, ähm, ich brauche einen Durchsuchungsbefehl für den Friseurladen. Based on what evidence? Genau, wegen dem Haar. Ich war da, als Baha sagte, er hätte nie in Portia Weissmann's Apartment gewesen. Seine DNA in diesem Apartment wird dir deinen Warrant geben. Okay. Kann ich dann jetzt schon dahin? Baja, Las Vegas Police. Open up. Looks like he's not here. Guess we'll have to execute the warrant without him. Score one for the lockpick gun. Always cleaner than breaking out the battery ram. So, dann suchen wir doch jetzt mal fleißig. So, was haben wir denn hier so? So. Okay, hier scheint nichts von Interesse zu sein. Dann gehen wir mal weiter. So. Okay, gucken wir erstmal hier nach. So, was haben wir denn da? 
It looks like an empty financial or legal portfolio with the spa's logo on it. Those records we found in the Vic's oven are just the kind you'd keep in a binder like this. Okay, so. Was haben wir da? Vegan blueberry muffins. They look almost edible and flammable. Aha, was haben wir denn da? Look at that. The hard disk isn't screwed in. It might just be new, but the VIX PC was missing a hard drive. We can figure it out back at the lab. So, das hätten wir. Was haben wir da noch? Aha. These tax forms claim that Superla Spa was highly profitable. Hmm. Nee. Okay. So. You can tell a Sehr lot gut. about a person from the kind of shoes they wear. You can tell a lot more if you forensically examine their shoes. <lacht> so, das könnte doch interessant werden mit den ganzen Sachen, die ich jetzt habe. Oh, was haben wir denn da? Was habe ich denn da in der Ecke gesehen? Okay, er ist definitiv. So. These shears are made for cutting pipes and we have a severed gas line to account for. Wunderbar. Ach ja. Als Killer sollte man seine Sachen nicht so sorglos rumliegen lassen. Ah. I wonder why they need so much acetone. Place is a little too masculine for manicures. So. Alles klar. Das dürften auch alle Sachen sein, die ich jetzt brauche. Auf zum Labor und alles mal testen. So. Erstmal vergleiche ich das mit den Schuhen. It's a match. Wunderbar. Uh, hier konnte ich auch vergleichen, ne? So. Und so. Schärfer stellen. Um. Look at how the imperfections on the blade match up to the markings on the gas line. These shears were used to cut that gas line. Haha. So. Ähm, da haben wir nichts für. Macht nichts. Wir haben noch genug andere Beweise. Chemikalien. Das. Mit dem Vergleich. Nein, aber das könnte wegen der Verbrennung liegen. Äh, an der Verbrennung, meine ich. Ähm, einmal das. Und das. Nein. Verdammt. So. It's a vegan blueberry muffin. Just like it said on the package. Factor out the carbon and the muffin that helped ignite the fire is identical to the ones we found in Baja's office. Hmm. Wie vermutet. Äh, genau, Aceton. So. Das. Das. 
das und das. It's almost pure acetone. No fragrances, no dye. Very few impurities at all. So. Haben wir noch DNA? Nein. So. Ähm. Ich müsste eigentlich noch äh, das mit dem hier vergleichen. Oder auch nicht. Ähm. The tool from the barber shop could have been used to break into Porsche's apartment. Okay. So. Was will die Post denn jetzt schon wieder? Äh. Ja. So. Okay. So, haben wir hierfür noch ein paar Sachen. Fingerabdrücke. Beweise. Nein. Ah, warte mal. Werde ich gleich mal was gucken. Computeranalyse. Genau. So. What's this? Trend Micro Internet Security Pro has detected a virus. Repair. Looks like someone's been practicing unsafe surfing. Okay, let's see what Pete has on this hard drive. Cat pictures, puzzle games, and Portia Weissman's monthly household budget. Looks like we found the drive that was missing from the computer in the loft. Ja, habe ich mir gedacht. Ähm, jetzt möchte ich noch Beweise. Ähm so. Haha. So. Ähm, und zwar. Erstmal so. That can tell us who handled this tool. So, sind da vielleicht irgendwo Überreste von. Sachen, die eingeschlagen wurden. Wohl nicht. Okay. Ich kann schon fast drauf wetten. So, Fingerabdrücke, Beweise. Das vergleichen mit dem. Ähm. Genau. Theoretisch hier sein, oder? Hier? Hm. Äh. Ach so. Da. Das ist doch. Porsche Weissman used this tool. 
It might be the one Brian Reed told us she was keeping at the spa. So. Der durfte jetzt keine Ausflüchte mehr finden. So, haben wir hierfür noch was? Nein. Negativ. So. Haben wir noch. So, die können wir uns mal angucken. Äh, Fingerabdrücke. I would expect that to be Pete Baha's fingerprint, since we found the ledger in his office. Na, ich glaube eher, das ist der Fingerabdruck von jemand anderem. Von einer gewissen Dame. So. Ähm. Das. Okay. So. Dann prüfen wir die Fingerabdrücke auch noch. Beweise. Das. Ich werde jetzt das mal miteinander vergleichen. Abgleich. It wasn't Baha's fingerprint, but why would he have a ledger with Porsche's prints on it? Ich glaube, wir sollten ihn noch mal verhören. So, ähm, Schauplätze. Ähm, genau. What do you get in the way of evidence? So those shears look as though they were used to cut the pipe, but we don't have the physical evidence to put those shears in Baha's hands. Ach, da habe ich was vergessen. So, Beweise. Das. Na. Keine Beweise? Okay. Whatever it is, no judge will sign off on that. Hmm. Um. Gehen wir noch mal ins Labor.